She leaves after behaving in a desperate sigh. I continue preparing my pie dough, oblivious to the reason why. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Crunch. Are you chewing on your nails? You're sucking your thumb? What are you doing? Like her? She's never far behind. Why would you think she wouldn't be here? Probably the whole fucking time. Like, who wouldn't was I not here? Yes, yeah, like, like the breath, like the eyes of God. Always watching, always judging. Now, right now, she's been activated. Lovely. Yelling about. Yeah, when you do it, when you say it like that, it makes it very clear you're lying. Sure, get along with each other. I place some cake on the table. At the same time, I glance at them out of the corner of my eye. First, that dressing. What do you think is for cinnamon? I prepare several cups of warm tea. Then I lead maple and cinnamon to a table as they peek at the cake. You wouldn't know about this, I guess. This is the cake from the party. How long has it it's been? I'm going to assume it's been like, what, two days? That's why I want you to have some now. Consider it thanks for your amazing performance. She heaves a long sigh. Maple buries her blushing face in her hands. Maple, what's wrong? Who 
whoever falls first loses. What do you mean by that? You, are fall you already fell in love with me, so you already lost. Mabel blushes all the way to her ears. She buries her face in the table like she's trying to hide. Just leave your cake and tea here. I'll give the strange pair a bit of space and head back to the kitchen instead. Days later. Maple stops by my room on the second floor during my break. Sure, what's up? She lifts a steaming teacup off the tray that she's holding. It's carefully placed in front of me. She sits beside us and stares, nervous with anticipation. I do what she says and presses my lips against the teacup. Mm, what's this? It smells like Earl Grey, but then again, there's still a sweetness to it that's not coming from the tea. Within the fragrance that I'm so accustomed to, I the subtle yet distinct sweetness. I tilt my head to the side at the, at the unfamiliar taste spreads around my, over my tongue. Do we even carry this tea? Take another sip and search of the flavor. <laughs> Oh, tea blends. Yeah, I think that'll work. We do have a selection of teas, so it would be nice to have an original blend. It doesn't taste like a rash mixing of flavors. I feel a subtle elegance to how the tea was blended. It will be interesting to see how this pairs with our cakes. So you looking to tea blends? She nods slightly. Her cheeks flush red with embarrassment. Okay, so you looked it up on the internet. I could still tell that it took some trial and error to figure out. Especially since you were trying to make it pair well with my cakes. Thanks, I appreciate it. It's hard to see you're working so hard, Maple. I set the tea aside of that sanker. I mean, sure, you can call me your employer, but I feel like there's a lot more layers to the relationship than that. Her face gets even redder than before. Maple grips the hem of her apron and smiles. Maple sure is cute. That's what I think when I see her aunt's reaction. I get up from my seat and start petting Maple's head. Thanks, Maple. Thanks for your effort and, in and initiative. We don't even know, but you don't even know how happy that makes me as a manager and as your lover. So 
What is it? I'm always willing to do this anytime you want. I pet Maple's head again. She desperately clenches her teeth to keep from breaking into a grin. She hasn't changed much, I guess. I think Maple's just as lovable when she gets awkward while being petted. Hmm, sorry, I didn't catch that. No, it was a lot more than nothing. Maple averts her eyes from mine. It says she looks at the calendar on the wall. Maple? She looks like she's saying she has something to say. <laughs> the, 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 the eye of God here again. Cinnamon? Cinnamon walks in the living room. She's smiling in a worried way as usual. Fucking ask the question! Maple, who has pursed her lips from her growing timidity, Cinnamon looks at her and giggles just a little bit. She turns her attention to me. Fuck, what supplies could you possibly need? Guitar strings and guitar picks, that's about it. My day off. Look at the calendar to my side and make sure. Alright, let's go. That's an urgent. I can postpone them if you two want to do something that on that day. I wouldn't say if I wasn't. Abel looks at me with a mixture of guilt and happiness. Of course, you don't have to tiptoe around me. It'd be a different matter if it was something important, but spending time with my companions is a matter too. I was just thinking of backing off from work for a bit, so this looks this works out great. Mabel bites down on her lip. A moment later she's grinning on the floor. Or at the floor. Maple and Cinnamon giggle to each other. Then we'll go out on our next day off. I walk over to the calendar. Infected with happiness by their smiles, I mark the date. Our day off. We've arrived at Yokohama Station to go to the music store. Yeah, you do do that a lot, don't you? I came here because I wanted to. You two have bail, so I'm not wor I'm not that worried. We walk together side by side as we talk. By the way, what do you want to want from the music store? So that's what you meant by supplies. We should buy a couple sets to keep our back stock. Oh, please, please do. I'm tired of spending money on you. 
Yeah, shoot, you you've treated them enough. <laughs> You really don't have to be so reserved. The fact that we're buying them shows how hard you've been practicing, Maple. So let me buy them for you. <laughs> that he is. That he is. Can't deny that. That's what he does. Cinnamon latches onto my arm without hesitation. Of course you can. I pet Maple's head for accepting my favor. The fact that I can pet her like this makes me happy. It means that we've grown closer than before. We make our way to the music store. あ、<笑> walks out of an arcade we happen to pass by. They're holding freshly printed photo stickers. Maple. I grab Maple's hand as she's about to walk into the direction of the music store. How about we stop by since we had the chance? Of course we can, it's no big deal. Cinnamon, are you in? What about you, Maple? <laughs> then it's time for a detour. Maple and Cinnamon pass through the door to the arcade. Hang on. Yeah. This is new for me. I, I am, trust me, I am. I'm trying, but I'm just not very good with these things. Making big a cake, but technology eludes him. Well, no, we're not. I am doing my absolute best here. Shit, I like that one. Oh, well, he's not even smiling now. <laughs> 